can't believe you. The man fucking bone down from the car down there, so when I'm born. He bone down from the car? What do you mean? I tell us, man, for broke up dog. The man broke up you. What do you mean? So the man then broke up, man. Do you buy? This one? No. No, this. Yo, I see me a bike are coming out to the city clock and I see a car, you know. And I turn on my head, I think the man is making a car in the road. What's your bike, mash up, man? What's your bike? No, sir. Tire fly all about. Number clock, rim, mash up. Man foot left from the car. What's your? Three man bone out of foot, man. This is a blood clock foot and a good big man. That your foot is not good. What's your bone in the, in the, in the car? What's your bone? Eh? That your foot is not good again. The man whole and bone flash out in the car, you know. What's your man? You are two youth from bag man. All in. Yes. When I miss a man, crush again youth. Pshhh. Pop pee. Pop pee. Pop pee. Pop. Que passa sac passe. What they do. Welcome to Crime Time News where the difference is in the med scarlet news with a buzz. You've often hear me use the term. A hard ears make for a soft ASS. That's how them call it in America. In a Jamaica, who can hear, them are going to feel till them can't feel no more. Now, people, because of YouTube's policy, yes, it would have been better for me to show you the video. However, I am trying not to lose my channel or get any sorts of child restriction on my video. Therefore, it can be monetized. So I cannot show this actual video. Based upon the information, it is said that this incident occurred in a West Milan. You know, so West Milan bike is a mode of transportation for many people. Taxi. People have all sorts of bike ride up and down. No, no sorts of helmet. No registration. No fitness. No, no, none at all. Especially no sorts of insurance. However, they choose to ride like some sorts of mad bat out of hell and this is usually the results when these people can hear can ride don't have any sorts of common sense and like for both like them say he that exalted himself shall be a beast meaning a beast this thing happened in a bag these two youth almost end up in a some sorts of body bag what is even worse, it is said that the rider are the owner of this bike. C-R-A-S-H-E-D, not lately, almost lost him life, broke up him foot. However, him still the on bike, even though family members and friends tell him, listen, low out the bike thing for a little while until you kind of know so you can't ride, until you understand the road code, while well, people him never listen. You could hear just based on the audio, did not even have to show the video, even though it would have been better. You could hear the people, I must say, when the vehicle lick him, I don't know if him wrong or right, people are surmising that he was the one that actually caused this. He a dilly dally and end up in the front of the vehicle. The vehicle lick him so hard that part of the bone out of foot catch up and then the rest mince out. Him lay down on the ground almost D-E-A-D. Lucky. First time him almost lose him life, broke up him foot. Second time him almost lose him life, broke up him foot again. Third time I am going to warn you, youth and other persons with aspirations like you, hard headed, knuckle headed youths. The third time won't be a charm, it will be a curse. Meaning that Unaga end up D E A D. Point blank and period. Further on in the news. There was a popular song back in the days. One of the most notable lyrics goes something like this. Heal mean heal up. Send man go to jail. So therefore, me no want a man heal me up. Well, people, this is the remix part two. This one is called heal. Not only send people go to jail. Heal send people go to them D-E-A-T-H. Be very careful who you get big up from because that same big up can come back and bite you in the ASS. Back in the days when termite and them used to link up, 
This man is a Joe's man. He is from Kinston Town. That is in St. Catherine. Him used to go around termite and them. And termite used to tell the people. them say, listen. You see the man here? The man here come like my brother. The man here a family. The man here untouchable. So therefore he was giving him his. Giving the people him in a Jones Avenue. His endorsement. However, with the split up of termites and black man, different factions in a Jones Avenue, things have changed drastically for the worse. So therefore, friends are now enemies. Enemies that want to take out each other life. It is D-E-A-T-H on sites. So this youth, Clive Tony, he is from Kitson Town. However, he frequents Jones Avenue. Clive Roy, his name is them call him Tony or Disco. So the most people upon the street call him Tony or Disco. After the split between black man and termites, it is said that Jones Avenue became a very different place. A couple of days before Tony lost his life, it is said that two men from Jones Avenue lost their life in Portmore a couple of days before Tony. People them I say, a termite people them take them out. So therefore, them can't find termite. Termite is a known gang, so termite knows how to avoid being taken out or caught up. So therefore, if them can't catch Quaco, who them are going to catch him shut? When them can't catch termite or catch termite gangster affiliation, them know say this man was endorsed by termite back in the days when him and black man used to be good. So therefore, them can't catch termite, them can't catch the other gangs of them, them can't catch the hitman them. So them say, all right, we remember back in the days this man get the endorsement. So people, you know the saying, if you live with the enemy or you roll with the enemy, you also D.I.E. with the enemy. So therefore, this man was a juice man. Yes, he thought at the time that the, the endorsement from termite would have been good for business. That means that he is untouchable. Nobody now going to rob him. Nobody now going to K-I-L-L him. Well, people, he was wrong. After those, those two personnel lost their life in a Portmore, they came back and they K-I-L-L-E-D him on Jones Avenue, same place in which he was endorsed by termite. They then took the body, Put it named Joe's van and drive the body down a green deal and left it right there. So his body was riddled. All because him get some sorts of heel or some sorts of big up or some sorts of endorsement from some sorts of gangster. People, if you are not about that life, do not mix and mingle in a dirty bungle and gangsterism. It will come back and haunt you because you yourself thinking well him just endorsed me so therefore me all right so in other words he was not aware of the gangster activity of termite and him people and he probably even if he knew he would have probably think say well me and nah, nothing for doing it i was not a part of the planning or the execution of any sorts of hit any sorts of criminal activity so therefore logic on the street and logic in the gangster world is complete. Well, the street and the gangster world is probably the same. In our regular life and the street life is completely different. The people them logic different, them think different. Any and everybody can get it. It does not matter your affiliation, how far down the line I could have 100 or 1,000 cousin. You can still get it. Once you're a part of the enemy, then they want to part with the enemy. Simple as that. So therefore, all of you young youths are all of you businessmen that think that when you get endorsement from the Don or when you get endorsement from any sorts of top shotter, it is a good thing. Yes, it has its pros and its cons. So you have to say to yourself, am I going to make a penny wise and pound foolish move? Meaning hype and then lose my stripe, lose my life kind of move. Weigh the pros and the cons. Sometimes, most times, it is not worth it. These gangster people, them coming like crosses. Whatever deeds that they do can come back and haunt you. And that is the case in this case. Point blank and period. Further on in the news, it is called Long Run Short Catch. 
The good that you do will follow you. The bad that you do will always come back and haunt you. It is called karma. Karma has no sorts of expiration dates. And even most importantly, revenge is a soap that is best served cold. This appropriately applies to a man that is called not nice. Not nice went to prison for about 11 years or so based on information, allegations, court record and the people in the streets. Mr. Not Nice, government name Samora, spent this 11 years after he took away a man known as Mr. Allen White. Mr. Allen White was a person that was respected in a society. So therefore, when the people them hear say, I'm not nice, do it. Not nice, tell the people them, say, I'm family, give him some sorts of hit. That uncle have to take away himself. Mr. Not nice also took away himself, but they caught him on the run. He did in excess of 11 years. He just came back out from the big yard last week. However, less than 24 to 48 hours ago, he lost his life at a place called Comarty, that is off Old Arbor Road. Based on the information, it is said that he got at least 30 pieces. People like me say, him the day in the prison for about 11 years or so. So when I asked my source, do you have any sorts of picture? He sent me a couple of pictures with this man laid down upon the ground in a some sorts of blue jeans, in pants a sag a show in boxer, and then a whole bunch of B L O O D running through his nose, his eyes, and his head. Obviously, because of YouTube's policy, I cannot show that. He said that this is the type of person that did not take any sorts of picture. Worse than the fact that him just come back. So therefore, he is not in the social media thing. And isn't it very ironic that he is now on the social media thing being mentioned, rest in peace, if you are his family members or your loved one. The people him that took him out did not feel that way. It is said that he got at least 30 pieces of silver. May I talk about um, copper? Sorry. I am not speaking about two buckets from KFC. However, they pretty much fried him with some sorts of hot corn. Popcorn, them call it. Point blank and period. Further on in the news, this is why this is called the Black Cat Channel and why whatever I say can be taken as the gospel. You can take it to court, literally. A couple of days ago, I made a post on one of my two channels through Jamaica Buzz, Jamaica Dance All Source. If you look at the screen, this is the actual thumbnail. If you look at the top of that thumbnail, it says DPP court retrial coming ASAP. Me hear some people I say, boy, I love put up things for some sorts of clickbait. Even though I said I have inside source that give me this information based on the type of personnel that Paula Llewellyn is, based on that she has to do some sorts of damage control, Based on the fact that she and Vice Cartel live like puss and dog, there is no sorts of love lost. However, there is a whole bunch of hate between both parties. Meaning the DPP's office, the system, judicial system in Jamaica. You and I know that they want him gone. Whether it is justified or not, it is still pending in the court. If you ask the court of public opinion, they are going to tell you that him guilty as sin. But I am going to say a man is innocent until proven guilty. Even though there are allegations and accusations, these need to be proved in a court of law. So when the Privy Council made its judgment and said, you know, Noah, this case is quash. Pretty much these defendants have no sorts of conviction. May I send it back to Jamaica from whence it come like a deportation order. People are say, well, we hear from the lawyer for the defendant. Everybody are brag and a boast. And people are celebrate prematurely. But people, like I've told you before, premature celebration is actually worse than premature ejaculation. What this means, you come too fast, you get to work. However, you drop off a 
the key. So in other words, you did not satisfy your partner. That that them mean by that. I told you that this lady has a vengeance. She is very vindictive. She is very proud about her work. Most people would question whether she is even capable because she dropped the ball upon a case like this. That was a royal F-U-C-K up. However, that is beyond the point. So now she come out and she has finally responded and said, Listen, it is my obligation as a person in charge to make sure that justice is served. The best interest of the public is addressed. So therefore, without saying it, retrial is eminent and people like I told before this is exactly what is going to happen what's going to happen she even said that she heard a whole bunch of misinformation in the public most of this misinformation was coming from the defense because they want to put the DPP's office in disrepute now people like me say this lady have a vendetta no salts of blind eye Anybody with an iota of sense can see exactly what is transpiring. So therefore, if the Gaza fans or fans of Vibes Cartel thinks that they were just going to open the gate of the big yard and let him out, no sorts of stipulation, no sorts of retrial, them have a next thing coming. This is going to go tooth for tooth, eye for eye. This battle will probably be worse than the last time. The mistakes that they make... More than likely, they won't make it again. And more than likely, those charges are going to be superseded. And if them find him guilty or the co-defendants are found guilty, you can best believe it is not going to be 35 years. It is probably going to be between 50 and 70. If found guilty in a court of law, not in the court of public opinion. Point blank and period. So anyways, people. Thanks once again for checking out my video. If you appreciate videos like these, please show your appreciation by liking, commenting, sharing and subscribing to my channel. That is how YouTube promotes videos like these to like-minded, sensible persons like yourself. And last but not least, please subscribe to my next channel. It is called Jamaica Dancehall Source. I'll be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video. Bless up.